He is so determined right now to to, bu to bust Gil's balls. Especially yung, yung nagvo-voice kay, kay Apare. Okay? Dam. Dam, dam ako yung feeling of uselessness ni Apare kanina. Yung nag-iiyak sa, uh, nag sa ilalim ng ulan because he, he, he probably at his
him win. He was actually referred to Gil. All right. Nga, Ruiz, uh, he is the, he is the, he is the man of the specific. The man of the man episode 11. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I can't believe um Apakraman is the last two episodes na. 13 episodes na pa na. 13 episodes na Apakraman. Manakakalimutin. So we're now down to just the final part finale. Of course, this is it. What do stars will look like? I don't know what they're going to look like how they're going to run. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what they're going to do. So, thumbs up. Oops. Decides. I don't know what's going to go. He was <laughs> turned down a chance like that after being dubbed a soul man. But overall, see, um, the first moment there, what is being attacked by part of he was only defending himself with a banana. It takes a lot of skill to defeat. Boy, but So, oh, let's break it. 
gonna say it now. First time episode. Thumbs up. Oh. Like in the uh, like in the first two, first two episodes that we have reviewed. Also down to its last two. Okay. What? Uh, most of the anime we are reviewing the Friday of September. So, we're now done. The fourth one is coming up. Down two. This one is coming up. No, 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 no. We'll na review natin so on the lee of uh, you're coming up. So, I'll we'll give you the philosopher's time episode. Anyway, so I don't know if I'm real on season 3, episode 23. Water. So, A scavenger nagpanggap na judgment just to win Nikotos task. Alright? Yung parang kutata nila to return the double gun to Cyborg. Yung Cyborg. Paano yung parang yung So, they were able to return the Cyborg pero before the uh, before the contract can actually secure the doppelganger Napapirma nila yung kontrata. Na ako, oh, na-receive na. Doon. Natumbo ng doppelganger mismo. So, Mikoto had no choice but to face it. Okay? Siya ang kinakalabanan niya ngayon. She was slowly getting uh, the weakness of that doppelganger. Till, it gathered enough matter to wrap itself in the wind and turn it into a, a humongous skyscraper sized monster. Alright? Holy shit! Alright? It's, uh, it's a decent setup okay, towards the, the final two episodes of Rick Gun. Alright? It's a decent setup. Muntik na kang mabisto yung ano eh. Muntik na kang mabisto yung leader ng scavenger. Kasi, uh, Shoko was, was supposed to get the mix. Sinabi na ni Miko to na, wag na muna. But Shoko found, uh, 
found another found another thing an invisible airship eh, nakakloak siya binalita niya binalita niya kay Miko to that there is such an airship hovering over Academy City so hindi na muna ni Miko to yun kasi she has her hands full right now and at the end of the episode ayun lalo lupa yung problema okay I don't know how Mikoto is going to handle this without judgment. The legit na judgment. Sila, sila Shirai, yah, sila Shirai. Yah, yun yun ang legit na judgment. I don't know how she's going to handle this. Lovely, right? The big part of that is when you, when you, when you really need either Toma or accelerator, but they're not around. But they are not around to help to help Mikoto. So, um, the story is a bit, uh, the script was a bit predictable, but except for the, um, ano, yung papanggap ng scavenger, uh, yung leader ng scavenger specifically, na member din ng jock, right? Didn't expect that. Okay. The leader will do anything, just just to just to get the just to get the job done. And they did, and they did. She felt sorry for using me, to, right? So, yeah, the um, the uh, the frenemies. Okay, let's say frenemies, because the one of the members, eh, uh, nakin pagsagot ang ito, eh, talo naman, talo naman. Oh, uh. The script was a bit predictable, except for that. Okay, except for that. And um, yeah, that's it. So, to araw kaga ko na real gun season three episode twenty three. I was supposed to give it a two thumbs up. No, ane. What's this? No. Uh, nagsimulang magpanggap yung leader ng scavenger eh. Tumos siya pero tutang sa oil. Mukhang, na, ano to ha? Ah. Mukhang may binabalak to ha. Ah. Yung pala, yun lang pala binabalak niya. Makulang yung matang yung tata. Right? So, kaya one talk up na ang episode na to. I was really expecting a confrontation between Miko to and scavenger. Kung tutok nyo, kaya niya ang apat na to sa mat. Kaya-kaya niya. Kasi level 5 siya. It's almost, uh, it's almost unthinkable that she's going to lose to this kind of, uh, to this kind of a group. Okay? It's almost unthinkable. And uh, I forgot, and I forgot na pala na uh, Shokuho is also a level 5. Pero, mas matasarado sa kanya ni Mato. Number five lang si Shokuho. Number three si Miko to. Number three si Miko to. So, yeah. That's, um, that's the reading I can, I can give. That's the reading I can give. Alright. So, in case, well, okay. So, no system sound. You hear me? You hear my mind? Ikaw ni Galactic Shark. Oh, ay. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow kaga ako real gun season three episode twenty three. One thumb up, right? It's uh because it's uh, two the final two episodes. Okay, third anime I'm talking about that will end on the last Friday of September. Okay, this was this is the third anime I'm talking about. And what? Well, I'm looking back. It actually started on the way. Um, January, mid January, na start na ito. A few weeks after COVID-19 was declared a pandemic, yeah, jan nagbreak, jan naghiatus uh, ang real gun, jan siya naghiatus. So, ito nung bumalik ang real gun, right? Because it has a universe of its own, eh? okay? 
This is uh, pwede mo nga siya ipanlaban sa X-Men eh. Okay? In terms of storyline, well, there's no prejudice going on. Kasi they're kasi highly regarded in uh, in the real gun universe, right? They're highly regarded. They're even highly uh, sought after as guinea pigs. Okay? That's the sad part. So, yeah, going back to this episode, it's a good build up to the final two episodes, but it was uh, rather predictable. <clears throat> okay? The script was rather predictable. So that's why I gave it only the one thumb up. Zero suits pa lang ta- Thank you! Thank you! Paalala! Ayaw ako isa! Exeros episode done more. Alright. Ito naman si Enjo. Nagpipigil pa rin. My God, Enjo. Man up! Okay? Man up! Alam talaga may gusto sa iyong babae. Ikaw naman type. Ikaw naman type mo rin. You know what happens next? Alright? So, but anyway. Um... Yeah, it's a pretty good episode. And there are a few funny comments. Um, also, accidentally using her H energy. <laughs> uh, that, 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 that was funny. Because it's so bright. 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 It's so at siya pa ang initiate Alright? Siya pa ang initiate Lili ito na ito awkward moment mo, Enzo. Lili ito na ito awkward moment. Uh, si Enzo, she also made an alarm, Enzo. Pakiyaba na. Alright? So, um, the race to, to totally seduce Enzo has picked up. Alright? Umix na na rin si Itogi. Itong, yung, kung maga, leader ng Tokyo Hexeros. Alright? So, wow. <laughs> If it weren't for those two awkward moments that, uh, well, I don't, I don't know what. Um, and just started to be an awkward moment magnet right now. <laughs> Alright? Yun na napapansin ko sa last, sa last two or three episodes. It started to be an awkward magnet. Alright? For all, there, there, there are no action scenes. There are no action scenes. Okay. Vacation mode sila. Vacation mode sila. sila. But in the next episode, uh, title so ominously. Mukhang reactions on the back. Right? So, but for now, um, Super Excellent Episode 10. On the back. Right? Kasi nga, hindi ako, ano eh, hindi ako nakontento doon sa pag, ano eh, I don't know who pag I don't know if you can call that a um, a love confession, but for me, it's not. All right, for me, it's it's not that um it's not that believable. All right, medyo sumablay don ang script. 
Okay? Medyo sumablay doon ng script. But, don't get me wrong, it's a fairly good episode. Okay? So, mga awkward moments, mga awkward moments, eh. Alright? But, this uh, this was the main reason why I gave it one thought up. Yung, hindi ako nakontento sa, ano eh, sa pag-amin ni Hoshino. And, uh, well, aside from, that's aside from the fact na nalaman natin yung part of that memory ni Hoshino hindi na niya matandaan kung paano na ko yun na yun. So, inamin na so, it's all episode na inamin na ni Enjo okay, na siya ang bigay sa kanya nun as a proposal gift. Alright? Enjo meant it as a prank. Okay, Hoshino at the time, it wasn't. So, somehow, na-carry na- over niya yon to Tao. Na-carry over niya yon. So, again, so next round, episode 10, one thumb up lang. Alright? But, uh, but I'll still wait for the next episode. Alright? So, it's so entitled ominously that uh, it makes me uh, wait for it. And, ngayon na ba? Super Exodus is 13 episodes also, eh. So, it's now down to its last, yeah, its last three. It will end on October 1. Alright? It will end on October 1. Tama na. Ano na? <clears throat> Buto na na fall anime season. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to redo this uh, the, these episode reviews again, but this time no reactions. I, I want to play a quick one. So, again, episode uh, 11, second to, second to the finale. I'm hoping this would be a. Uh, well, it looks like part one of a two part finale, right? So, the episode. Uh, really good episode, right? Um, the main protagonist, of course, si Kaburagi, making the ultimate sacrifice by uh, <clears throat> by uniting his own data with Dekaten. So he actually Dek- <clears throat> Minato, the commander of Dekaten. <clears throat> Minato, the commander of Dekaten. Kasi, eh, siyempre, once, um, when he, when he became one with decadence, someone has to, someone has to nag, someone has to operate, right? So, the volunteer na si, si Minato. And that's when, the, that's when the episode ended, right? I'm hoping for a, uh, I'm hoping for a sandbag finish to this episode. It right? deserves a perfect finale. It's a, it's a studio original, so don't don't find uh, don't find any anywhere. Okay? It's a studio original, original studio na ito. So it's not based on anything, except uh, like ang brainchild ng animation studio to. So Decadence episode eleven, two thumbs up. episode 11 so, one and second third to the finale stated for 13 episodes kasi. this was one of the most uh, it had one of the most awesome uh, fight scenes in all of anime in all of anime this year in all of anime this year alright 2020 you think 2020 is a uh, it's a sad year nope if you're an anime fan you got much to celebrate, and it's uh, because of part of high school. So, uh, if you decide, well, basically, if you decides to kill Jigal because for severely injuring his teammates, uh, act, but before that, uh, if you gets beaten by Mori in, in the featured match, so probably the world is coming to an end because. He, he, just come falling down. 
So, part mo jin because the um, uh, uh, the tournament. Okay. So, it's also his way of saying all hands on deck. <laughs> but it was a really awesome, really awesome episode. Okay. Really awesome episode. As you call, typical God of High School fashion. So, God of High School episode 11, two thumbs up. Can't wait for that. Can't wait for uh, not the final two episodes. But this feels like it's a three part finale. Kasi, mohong, ito na yung, dito na mohong, uh, episode 11. Okay, we have 15. What can I say? It's a lot of fans of this which I really like because um, it pays homage, it paid homage to, to, to two previous episodes. Okay. Uh, Maguro's deck, yung nakalaban ni Yuba, reminded me of Echoes uh, by Shark. Okay. There's a shark reference there. Especially his uh his his boss monster, si Big Tuna. Reminds me exactly a lot of Shark's deck. Say uh, most um uh, Shark's monsters at the time were yeah, they were all fish type. Most of them would look like machines, actually. So Big Tuna was a perfect shark reference. Okay. And the other is um uh of course like it looks exactly like a red raptor. Uh, it was the arch the archetype used by uh, by Shun Kurosaki in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. It is um it appears uh, uh the right. Para mong ginawang para mong ginawa kasing Ixis ang mga Blackwing. They're they're that fast. They're so consistent and when when push comes to shove. They can really, they can really beat you in a match. Okay. Player using it can really, can really um, beat down on you in a match. So it's a great, yeah, it's a great episode. You can go seven starting to, um, to assert itself, starting to brand itself actually as a fan service anime. And well, I got no problem with that because it makes me reminisce, makes me reminisce of the old days. Okay, of the previous six series. So far, they've uh, paid homage to Duel Monsters, to Zexal, and to Arc 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, tatlong series na lang hindi pa nila. GX, Rings, and... Ano ba? Teka, teka. Let me end that. So, they paid homage to Duel Monsters, Zexal, and Arc 5. So, hindi pa nila. Pagawa ng Master GX brings the port and um someone fight this fight this woo I almost forgot it's my all time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh series Yu-Gi-Oh fight this so Yu-Gi-Oh sevens episode fifteen two thumbs up two thumbs up. Can't wait for the next episode because um, they were actually lured into a trap by uh, by a fake Kaizo. Real Kaizo is in, uh, which went after uh, which have went after Team Sevens to warn them. So, naloko na sila ng ano eh, ng Peking Kaizo. So, when they went when they went back to shore, ayun, na trap down nila Track down any fake Kaizo and it led them to the AI restaurant. So, do not tapos yung episode. And in the teaser, well, Rome is going to Rome is going to try her hand now. Uh, I couldn't wait for that episode. I couldn't wait how Roman will do it this time. Now that she's she's now that she's part of Team Sevens again, right? Again, you seven episode. Two thumbs up. Uh, 
um, yung game of hearts. Yung ako sa gang, led by I am his father, yung yung sa boss, that's why I call the yung sa gang. Led by the former yung sa boss. Right? So, instead of, um, instead of, uh, trying to, trying to take them up, uh, they actually help them. So, little change of heart from these guys. And, uh, so the local one, he decided to, decided to help our heroes there. So, they were able to, well, uh, we were able to, so, do sila sinundan ng, Yan, they, the Yakuza gun decided to to ally with them because well it's pointless if you could uh, if you could uh you can analyze it better it's pointless to fight amongst each other in the end parting in the media so that's what the that's what the Yakuza that, that's what the Yakuza realized eh makakatulungan na lang sila ba in order to survive so right now they look like a community Eh, bani siya pa. Ang mag-ama naman ang kakaparanin. Kasi eh, ito na rin yung mag-ama. And of course, um, sharing of techniques of how, how they fight this Jibia. And in the final scene, whoa, lo and behold, eh, the, the um, Super Jibia, the 14th episode, I think episode 8 or 7 yung talaga halos hindi nila matalo ng buhay pa si Yuki Nojo okay they were at full strength it's now it's now completely humanoid in appearance talagang tapang tapang so I can't wait for the final two episodes kasi episode 10 na GBA 12 episode so uh, it's a good it's a good set up for the final two and if you ask me GB8 also deserves a two-part finale okay this is not like, it's that good well not like in the mold of um not like in the mold of high school of the dead pero that's where that's where the cinema the sim here's where the similarities end GB8 deals with a um like COVID-19 <clears throat> it's incredibly difficult to, to, to the situation in the world is in right now but the point is here human extinction okay high school of the dead naman it's hindi ano kung paano naging zombie ang mga tao right so that's for the same time at the end for uh, leading to a more definite story high school of the dead didn't both are great enemies. Both are really great enemies. So, GBA episode 10. Thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. So, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen GBA yet, I strongly suggest you do that anime now. Before it ends. Right? So, the next movie is um, be a picture for me. Uh, to love this show i've grown to love this anime so again gb8 episode 10 two thumbs up so that ends our stream and um i am so uh, frustrated right now i am so fucking frustrated because all the reactions i did were for each episode in the plastic it's really it's so authentic right so when I looked at my video producer it only captured two uh, the first two hours of the supposed day stream I am so pissed off at my telco right now I'm so pissed off at my telco right now Yeah, I've had connection. I've had connection problems since uh, Monday. 
no since since all right and had real real connection issues right so this one just elevated it what i just um uh, showed you guys was uh, was a show of frustration last uh oh uh yesterday which was friday okay, as of this as of the recording of this particular clip <clears throat> um i i sincerely apologize for if uh if the audio was bad okay all throughout the digest because well the connection issues weren't that good uh, with uh with the with the prepaid internet i am uh i got going on right here <clears throat> how did i still feel that uh that frustration okay i was supposed to okay i was supposed to uh, have an all-day stream yesterday which included the uh the four episode reviews the last four episode reviews you just saw right all day stream but uh like i said uh in those uh like i said in the previous clip uh, in the clip that came before this it only captured the first um, two hours and 14 minutes and all the while i thought i was uh, i thought i was streaming for uh for for 10 and a half hours okay hey, hey. I was supposed to break a personal record. Okay, the longest stream I had is um, eight, um, more than eight hours. So this breaks it. Ten, supposedly ten and a half hours. It's well broken. Okay? It's, it's the shortest broken. But uh, when I checked the uh, when I checked the video producer, it only captured the first two hours and fourteen minutes. All right. <clears throat> I don't know what Smart's problem is when it comes to um, when it comes to it's it's broadband, okay. That's why I am seriously considering um, getting getting a post speed speed based plan, right? It's about time uh, the Philippines gets into gets into speed based internet, right? Data based internet has been outdated by at least seven years to tell you the truth okay it's been outdated for at least seven years and the philippines is still using it it's the philippines is still predominantly data-based ang internet namin okay ang internet namin dito so what happens when you stream when you're on data you're gonna get severe connection issues okay and i experienced it firsthand last week All right i don't know um and well i'm also actually um trying out the different streaming apps which will alleviate my my issues with with smart broadband connection now so um twitch studio uh, the one i'm using right now it's what well, it's in beta so it has glitches and i wasn't quite satisfied with x split i wasn't um i had a hard time using streamlabs desktop okay the mobile version was easy okay easy pc yung, yung mobile version of streamlabs and uh, well the problem with streamyard is there is a um, certain hours of a lot, certain hours allotted for you if you're you, if you're just using the free version. All right. So, again, I sincerely apologize to um, to, to you, Maka Lifestyle. If uh, if you find if you find this digest pathetic, if you find this digest um, hard to hard to watch because of the because of the audio and <sighs> i am seriously considering a, um, 
a uh, going post paid right this will this will come out of this will come out of our pocket okay the whole family's pocket and well uh i'm sure you did not enjoy watching this digest okay i am not exactly hoping that anybody's going to enjoy watching this digest because of the um because of the um uh what's it called this because of the, the issues that you just heard and that you just heard uh, due to the due to the bad connection issues I've been having all week last week but uh, I, I'm gonna tell you my plans right now <clears throat> I'll be reviewing a new anime next week so you better you better hang on to your you better hang on to your uh, uh, your otao cats from from here on end because i'm not going to tell you what what anime is that but i will give you a clue it's going to be a recurring anime uh, an anime that has um that is that has first aired 20 in 2017 okay i'll give you lots of clues right now it's a chinese anime and it's returning for a second season right i'm not going to tell you the title because i'm going to reserve that for the next digest Okay, but if you want to experience the review firsthand, of course, okay, follow me on uh, follow me on Twitch. Okay? You've you've seen my where is my you've seen my Twitch username right here. Okay, during the reviews, I hope you I hope you I hope you caught I hope your eyes caught that I hope your eyes I hope your eyes saw that. Okay, so follow me on Twitch. If you want to see firsthand and live my uh, my episode reviews, now uh, if you're just going to have a YouTube, well, you just have to wait for another week. <laughs> you just have to wait for another week. I do the live episode reviews every Friday, okay? Because um, I, I I really enjoy doing whole day uh, whole day streams. Okay? I really enjoy doing those things. So. Uh, I get to, I get to react on another person's stream. Okay, I also get to play, get to practice my Yu-Gi-Oh decks in front of you guys. Okay? Um, of course, waiting for your opinions. And if you're, if you're, if you're a fellow player, if you're another player, okay? if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player like me, give me your tips. And um, yeah, of course, the episode reviews. And uh, every, of course, I'll now also do Advocacy Friday uh, during that time because it's either either I do it in uh, early afternoon or late evening, Advocacy Friday. So you don't, you know, if you're if you also if you're also subscribed to my main channel, you know what the schedule of Advocacy Friday is, right? But uh, if you just want that just stick to my main channel but if you want if you want to um if you want to what you call this kung, kung gusto yung maging kung gusto yung maging chismos ang kapitbahay ko every friday well you gotta follow me on twitch because i'm gonna do a whole uh, i do whole day streams okay i do yeah i do whole day streams every friday pero pa minsan minsan naga naga ano rin ako eh uh nag stream ako sa ibang araw if and only if um i feel like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! i feel like uh well uh, uh do social eating if if what I, if what i if what i am eating is uh, really good i want to share it to you guys live okay so again um again for the for, for the third time i sincerely apologize for this digest and um, I'm trying my best right now to uh, to uh, keep my options open for uh, keep myself in the market for a uh, for a, a faster internet plan, All right? So that's it. Okay. So you know, well, I'm gonna give you a drill. All right. See this, right? subscribe and 
get a hold of these two videos or playlists over here. Alright? So, hanggang sa muna yung mga ka-lifestyle.